Hello. Hello. Can you? <laughs> it's very heavy for him. Thanks very much. Hello. Thank you. Trying to find mm. the local way to oh. the existing of the building. Locking? Yeah, I just found it today, just a few hours ago. I put it to charge right now. Eh? Ah. And, well, let's see. <laughs> Yeah, so this, this thing turn on. Ah, okay. <laughs> now it's connected to, okay, in Hawaii there's a, set, there's a ship which is monitoring the number of GPS satellites. Uh, every time that changes. Uh, this one over here this one is connected to my mother-in-law's living room. Uh, there's a sensor of infrared, so every time she changes the channel or fast forwards on the video, then something will happen. To, the, to these guys over here. Ah. Just the yeah, so she's, you know, it's, uh, it's evening in Japan right now, so it's quite a lot of uh, television activity going on. Uh, this one is connected to the interplanetary magnetic field. Yeah, we're basically inviting people to come and pack bits of toys and put them in and put them where they are to be connected. How important is the participation of people in this installation? 99%. Okay. And what is the 0-1% percent left? 1%. Oh, one we, we have to do a framework. So you build the you build the metallic framework? Yes, and the electronic framework as well. Okay. Well, do you think one day the people will be able to build the electronic framework yeah, by themselves? They can? I mean, you, you see? Usman and me, uh, except for Ben, in the team, we're not engineers. Oh, yeah. So this is already halfway, no? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so there will be more and more people like you? No, more and more people who are other, not like us, but who also embrace technology and just do it for whatever they want. Maybe okay. stupid, maybe clever, maybe... <laughs> yeah. Dangerous, maybe. Uh, for you, is it very... Is it open architecture? Yes. Uh, why? Well, it's, it's, um, it is definitely a space, it can kind of surround you. Uh -huh. um, it's definitely built by the participants, uh -huh. even if we do the framework for it, but yes. it's just like producing bricks or whatever. And, um, and also the dynamics of it, that it's connected to real-time data in different parts of the world, uh -huh. even satellites. I think that also adds a lot to its openness, because you can also change that. Is there other ex uh, experiment like this that you, you qualify open architecture, like as much as this one? Oh yeah, I mean, quite many people experiment with this. Like, uh, Exist. Exist. You know this French, uh, Paris-based group, they just did this huge installation for really? scaffoldings. What are the conditions for uh, such open architecture to exist? Um, well, I think it's, it's solely... It's only a social condition that okay. there is a there is a wish, a need for the people who mm -hmm. uh, who will do this architecture for themselves. Okay. And it's, this is pretty much emerging because you can see how they more and more trust their friends other than like professionals. They more and more want to decide for themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to change the environment more and more. Mm -hmm. So I, even though these kind of ideas have been around for decades, mm -hmm. um, it seems that there is a really good social space now emerging. Mm -hmm. Where people really, I mean, this is the more important. It's not just a dream. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. actually, when you talk about these things to not architects but like clients or normal people, they get it right away. This how, they, how this is how they already live in different other contexts. Uh -huh. Yeah. So 
What do the people, you think, uh, get out of such experiments? So there was a girl, she was... Oh, her, yeah, you see with the spark. Yes. So she said, you know, she came here, she said she's always interested in like open spaces, but, you know, it's such a, such a nice vision. And she came here and she did like one toy hack in like one hour, uh -huh. and she was so happy, she said, I'm not afraid of hyperconics anymore. <laughs> okay. And then this is one of the key things with these workshops. Here. Yeah, it's, I mean, technology looks complex, you're afraid of it. Mm -hmm. And with this, it's, um, yeah, relief. I see. What improves uh, every version? Because you did several versions of this kind of installation. It's different. I mean, this is the first time we built a space together. We just used to like objects. Now, this is the first time we connected to remote places. Oh, really? Yeah. Via Patchway or via... Sorry? Via... Via Patchway, exactly. Okay. I mean, we just, we just finished Patchway in order, so that's an interesting thing for us. So every time the project is evolving, what is the next yeah. version? What's... I don't know. We, we think about it when we get a request. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.